speak to those those uh, uh, a little bit about the certifications and the value of those beyond just you know maybe something that's you know you just you could say just say you did it like as a certification for the industry like what what more broadly what's sort of like the power of the benefit or the benefit of having level one two or even th a level three certification in, in exact domain yeah so there's credibility that's associated with that from my point of view. And, you know, I, I was a trainer for a number of years. I helped build some of those courses. And I, just personally, I had a little bit of conflict because I was a trainer and I knew Xactimate inside and out. And, you know, I wasn't an adjuster though, right? I, I haven't been through like, you know, adjuster training, right? From that standpoint. So I felt kind of like sure. fraud in some respects, right? Where I could, you know, I could sketch the crap out of anything, right? And I knew the hot keys and I could just, I could write an estimate like you wouldn't believe, but I still felt like a little bit of a fraud where I was teaching even experienced adjusters, right? Who really knew adjusting this part, which is exact to me. I understand adjusting is broader than that, right? And so when I, when I, I'm sharing the conflict that I had that I felt like, um, maybe we didn't go far enough in terms of getting an adjuster ready for what it meant to be an adjuster. And we just focused on the exact main piece. So there's pieces of that, um, that maybe there's opportunities for us to improve upon, uh, but the value of it. So to answer your question a little bit more directly is when I would see it show up in job descriptions, right? Or I see people promote it as part of a skill or a qualification that's been validated. That's where I see a little bit more value associated with that, where, yeah, I've, I'm a licensed adjuster in these states and I'm Xactimate level three certified as a marketing, you know, kind of, you know, showcasing the skill set that I have. Sure. So I think that there's value in that um, and, and helping adjusters, even new adjusters, get claims and show some kind of credibility associated with their level of investment in learning at least a tool of the trade um, that, that, that speaks to their job. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to ask you the same question. Sure. From your sure. Well, yeah, and I, I would totally agree with that. And, and like you said, the Xactimate level one, two, and three is to teach the tool, right? It's to teach where the buttons are, how to, you, how to create complex, you know, increasingly complex um, interior and exterior areas and write increasingly complex estimates based on those areas it's not it's not designed i think i and i would i would push back a little bit and say that it probably uh wouldn't make sense to include like the full claims process and how to do like insurance claims and stuff like that in those particular certifications we teach that right so my yeah. trainings are you know, I, I have Xactimate level one and two currently, Xactimate mobile, and then other training separate from that that are like, all right, now we're gonna we're gonna go through the whole claims process using Xactimate mobile and show you how to, like, you just showed up at the house, you got mobile in your hand, and you know, your iPad in your hand, let's do a claim, and use the tool in the context of the claims process. So I do that, which, you know, I think is, is a, it's been pretty popular with, with my viewers and students and everything. Um, but uh, no, I, I think that it's, I used to kind of poo poo it back in the day because I was like, I was self-taught. Well, I don't really, I went to Vail like in 1998 or 1999 and they taught like, it, it was Xactimate, what was it back then, 25? Or was, was there one before that? Anyway. Um, 98, it would have been like version like, two. Yeah, late 90s. Yeah, like, yeah. Xactimate Sweet 99. I don't know, something like that. Or Sweet 98, depending on. So, so I, I got, I was taught it at a, at Vail and then I learned the rest of it myself and learned how to, I, I mean, I would sit there with the figure, tri, figuring out keyboard shortcuts. If you hold down the alt key and you look at the screen, you could see little, little underlines pop under like letters of some of the menu items. And I'm like, oh, I could tap that. Hold down alt shift. F7 and that pops up a thing and I'm like, oh, and I learned all these and I could get through Xactimate without touching a mouse, like just yep. with keyboard shortcuts for popping up every possible little thing. And it was great and I loved it. And, you know, so I was like, well, you know, if, if my, when I was an adjuster, especially in the early days, I was like, well, I don't, 
you know, why would I bother getting a level one and two? I'm already working. I don't need to put it on my resume. I mean, I haven't shown anybody my resume in like 15 years. And, but I think for people that are, that are, I think that, that when I, when I took uh, level three to become an XCT, I learned so much. I was like shocked. I was like, whoa, is this going to do this? What? <laughs> and so I think even somebody who's got 20 years of experience, if they never went and got a level two or three, they can benefit from it. And I, there's a lot of shortcuts and tricks and, you know, little things, especially with the sketch stuff that I had no idea that the Xactimate could do. Oh, I was just going to say from purely from a, a skill standpoint, um, yeah. any kind of continuing I mean, that's like really like solid continuing education for new people. Learn the tool to get a, to get level one and two. Right. I always tell everybody. And then yep. if you've never done it before and you're like been an adjuster for five or six years or 10 years, pick go get, go try to do your level two or even level three. I mean, it's I don't know. At that point, you've already proven yourself as an adjuster. It's just going to be another like, you know, another little gold star on your resume. But it's also going to improve your efficiency you're going to be able to close claims a little bit faster even faster than the, with with the, all the other efficiencies you've built up and it's going to make you know troubleshooting the software if you can't find something which is the biggest thing she's so finding stuff in there right um i think that those those even if you don't take the test which i i recommend everybody take the test but even if you didn't or if you if you like you took the training and then storm hit right and you couldn't take the test take that training and because it's a vital tool, everything that you do in the claim revolves around Xactimate in some way. Like we've, and with our, our property adjuster certification program, the fast track to deployment, there's seven or eight modules. Every single lesson we dip into Xactimate for something, for some, some yep. thing, right? Cause it's, it's, it's how you, it's how you put the claim together, right? It's how you document your findings at, at the loss, right? For, for the, yep. for the claim. So I was going to ask you, what, what do you believe the outcome was for you? Because I, I love that you talked about the efficiency because that's, that's actually kind of a, a what's in it for me play for yeah. level three. What do you believe that that shaved off on your average estimate handle time? Oh, geez. I, I, I don't know that I could quantify it. Um, but I could say that, especially since I haven't, I got that after I kind of sort of retired from being an adjuster. Um, but I can see, especially with large loss, um, and that's where where all this I, I think really gets the most traction is with large loss, total loss, um, right? Uh, especially doing daily claims where you're doing fires and, and a lot of water damage and stuff. Um, being able to like do a concrete patio that a tree, you know, if a tree falls over and the root ball flips the patio up and breaks it in half, right? You can pay for that. It's, it's covered. Um, you know, you can put that into into a sketch. You can build like a, a, a reference area that's got some depth to block. it or use a reference block, yep. right? Um, you know, that may not be a level three thing, but it's stuff like that, that instead of sitting there and trying to like figure out like the cubic yards of concrete and everything. I can just whip out that little reference block and drop the, you know, concrete on it and I'm done. And it's, I mean, yep. seconds add up to minutes, which add up to more claims closed per day. And every little yep. thing that you do, every little, every little, like, that's why I was so, this is my biggest problem was like when, when 28 rolled around and all the, all of my keyboard shortcuts went away. I used, I saved so much time with those keyboard shortcuts, I know. I know. I know. you know? Painful. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house on video? What about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is Symbility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims suggesting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see, right along, get it right, just move right along, 
versus ride along. It's right along, get right along to it. 